being backed by the BBC, it seemed the Arts Minister Kim Howe couldn't or wouldn't. He was speaking after criticism that four artists chosen to represent Wales abroad are all either not born here or no longer working here. More from Kim Howe in just a minute. First, this report from Caroline Evans. What makes good art? It's a matter of opinion. Few would argue with that. But what makes a Welsh artist? Well, that, apparently, is another matter, and one which is causing quite a stir in the arts world. Gwent artist Paul Seawright is among four picked to represent Wales at the world's oldest international art exhibition, the Venice Biennale. But he was born in Northern Ireland, and of the other three chosen, one was born in Exeter, the other two are Welsh-born, but don't live here. The choice has infuriated Neil Howells from New York. His work shows around the world, and he finds the decision insulting. Look, what if somebody come over to me and asked me from Mexico and said, wouldn't mind representing Mexico in a Venice finale, would you go well? Wouldn't you think of your Mexican artist thinking, what's going on here? Yeah? Some Mex, some bloody Welshman over there represented us. Yeah? <laughs> but the Assembly's Culture Minister says it illustrates how we in Wales want to be viewed abroad. We should be abroad in terms of what is what, what it is to be Welsh. We've got four artists, uh, two were born in Wales, the other two were born outside Wales, but now they're, they're living in Wales. So I'm very happy with that. It's very comfortable, it's very comfortable to recognise Wales as a, as a modern bilingual nation. Maybe. Or is it like Arts Minister Kim Howells? We're unsure what talent we have here in Wales. Artists as in painting, yeah. drawing. Um, oh. No. <laughs> no, I, I can't think of anyone. Oh, yes, I can. Um, oh, God. Well, the only one I like at the moment is Kevin Williams. And um, his work is making good money. Look, there's a great girl in Tembe called Naomi Tideman. And she, she's got a lovely little gallery. No, I can't. I'm sorry. This is the first time that Wales has been represented at what's regarded as one of the most important art exhibitions in the world. Known here or not, the artists flying the flag for Wales say it's a real privilege. Caroline Evans, BBC Wales Today, Cardiff. Well, we invited Pontypridd MP and Culture Minister Kim Howells on to defend himself, and I'm glad to say he's here. Hello, good evening. Uh, you had trouble naming a Welsh artist this morning. Are you able to do so now? Well, I, it's, not, it's not a problem. I mean, it, you know, if you think about the, um, the, the number of people who are painting and drawing and sculpting in Wales, there's a tremendous number of them. I was trying to make the point this morning that four people have been chosen for the first time ever to represent Wales at the Venice Biennale, which is like the, it's like the Oscars for, for artists internationally. And, uh, and I didn't want to name people who would be seen as possible rivals or on an alternative list. So are you, are, you able, are you able to name some artists or, well, or you I, still don't want to? No, I mean, we, we've got great artists. I'll name, I'll name some of the older ones for you. So okay. Captain Williams, for example. Now, it's typical of questions that you get from a, a London-based television studio, a radio studio. They don't ask you about Sir Captain Williams, and yet he's probably the most famous British painter. And he's <laughs> Welsh, and he paints British, he paints Welsh scenes. But now, somebody perhaps that we, that we should be noting, for example, if we can single her out, Sharni Rees James has won the Jerwood Prize, yeah. very obviously a big prize in, in art terms, and she's actually said that she's found it appalling that you couldn't name a single artist. Well, and it's undoing all the hard work that, that people like her are actually doing for Welsh artists. Well, I'm very sorry that she said that because, I mean, I could have, I could have named a lot of people. I mean, Martin White, Harry Holland, uh, Phil Nichols, Maggie Nichols, uh, Peter Prendergast, lots and lots of people. But she's missing the point. The point is that these, these individuals were named as our representatives out there. They're the ones we ought to be making a fuss about, it seems to me. There are... There are many opportunities for, for Welsh artists to, to show their work and so on, and it's great. They've always been the poor relations of the arts in Wales. Minister. They haven't received that public backing, you know, which they should have done over the years. And, uh, we but we, 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 must, we must try to make the most of, uh, of the fact that we've now got four artists representing us at the Venice Biennale. And we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, the weather certainly isn't painting a very good picture at the moment. Derek, what's happening to our summer? Claire, don't worry. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, summer is about to return. High pressure is not very far away. You can see it there. 